So let's pray. Jesus, um, we want you this to be about you and you showing us more of who you are. We sang, um, awake us, Lord, blow through the caverns of our souls, melt the stones of the hearts of stone. And so, Jesus, that's your work. We can't change ourselves. So if it's going to happen, you're going to do it. And so we trust you, and we need to know whether you're worth it or not at Tabor College and to the ends of the earth. And so would you speak to us this morning? Amen. So, <laughs> want to explore that with you a little bit this morning. Um, we've shared in chapel before here, and I've shared that when I was here, when I was your age, I didn't think Jesus was worth it. I didn't see that he was worth it. I didn't see a Jesus that was worth following. And so I chose to do my thing my way. And, and I know even speaking at a chapel like this, because I remember sitting here and because I had to, not because, yeah, you had to get your chapels in. And so that's what you did. And, and yeah, just tried to, tried to get through it and tried not to be too obnoxious. So a lot of sometimes I tried to be really obnoxious actually and I was a jerk. And so um, my prayer is that in this journey at Tabor, you're gonna see somewhere from someone that Jesus is worth it. And then you obviously will have to decide what you're gonna do with that. Um, I'm here 30 years later telling you that I believe Jesus is worth it. Um, I haven't been there yet, but where the Lord has taken me, he has shown me that he's worth it. And in some ways, it's just even a crazy question to ask in my mind anymore, because, but I remember a time when I asked that, Jesus proved to me that you're worthy of my life. And I look at that now and think, yeah, you're an idiot. But um, back then it made total sense to me. Because is Jesus worth it when the paradox of that is Jesus said we're worth it. He went to that cross. He was beaten. He was lashed. He was rejected. He was spit on. He, and because he said you're worth it. Is that pretty crazy? The son of God. <laughs> humbled itself to that point and would look you in the face and say, you're worth it to me. I will do this for you because you're worth it. And then we wrestle through the question whether he's worth it. That seems kind of paradoxical, but that's where we find ourselves in this world that <laughs> we live in. And so my prayer is that in this journey through Tabor and beyond that you will find that Jesus is worth it. Um, yeah, as we look through scriptures, we look at Paul's life, and um, he, <laughs> of all people, said these momentary light afflictions aren't worthy to be compared to what, t to the eternal glory that waits for me. And we just go, momentary light afflictions, Paul. You were beaten, you were stoned and left for dead. You were, yeah, lashed. <laughs> three times, 39 lashes, and on and on. There's a whole list that's that long, and he called the momentary light afflictions aren't worthy to be compared. And, and then you go to the story of Hebrews, and it talks about, yeah, this journey of, of those that um, were following and their story about, you know, some of them saw amazing things, but then others were tortured, refusing to turn from God or be set free. Um, they were cut to pieces, they were whipped, they were stoned. Um, they were, it says they were too good for this world, wandering over deserts and mountains, hiding in caves. And all these people earned a good reputation because of their faith, yet none of them received all that God had promised, for God had something better in mind for us so that we would reach up so that they would not reach that perfection without us. So what that tells me is, 
in order for their story to be complete, we got to figure out whether Jesus is worth it. Their perfection is based on us. <laughs> and now we're the ones that are walking this story. And are we going to believe like they believe that Jesus is worth it? Um, and so, yeah, we have the stories. Ricky, it's great to have you here today. I get to walk this life with Ricky and Karen in Thailand and the rest of yeah, friends there. And yeah, their journey of saying Jesus is worth it. And come join us in what Jesus is doing. And that's fun. That's amazing to have friends that you could walk that out with. Um, you recognize that, don't you, Ricky? This is, I believe, Sierra's grandma wrote this book, Refugee. 18 years, a life of a refugee, uncertainty, incarceration, homelessness, violence, despair, and when least expecting, expected a glimmer of hope, and um, was able to migrate to Canada. And she writes, Jesus is worth it. Jesus is worth it. And yeah, the stories of um, people you know that are going to tell you Jesus is worth it. Um, I think even this week, I don't know if any of you know him or even know the story, but um, I believe he's still president or president of the board here, Lyndon Bix. I went to college with him. His wife through, went through eight years of um, cancer, died this last week. And his posts on Facebook are, Jesus is worth it. He's worth it through the hard times, through the good times. Um, he's worth it. My mom went through the same thing. Um, breast cancer, went to stomach cancer. She basically starved to death over four years. As she's starving to death, she's getting this lethal injections of chemo in her body and telling the people around her that Jesus is worth it while her body is disintegrating. And so are we going to be able to tell people that? Are we telling people that now, where we're at on our journeys right now? I am, um, <laughs> there's another movie much like this one, and I would love to play this whole movie for whoever wants to see it sometime. There's another movie called Lambs Among Wolves, I believe that's the title of it. And it's, again, the picture of persecution, and they interview this young girl. Um, She's in a militant Islamic country, and she chose to follow Jesus. And her choosing to follow Jesus had, well, will have, she knew, some incredible ramifications. Um, she knew that most likely she would be beaten and raped, tortured, and more than likely killed for it. And they just asked her, what do you do with that when you're knowing this is this is what is ahead for you. And she just, in Romans 12, she says, she just quoted this, then I will offer my body as a living sacrifice to Jesus, holy and acceptable to him, because that's all I have to offer. Is that crazy faith right there? <laughs> and she's saying Jesus is even worth that. So, yeah. Jesus is asking us where we're at today because if Jesus isn't worth it, then I'm saying don't follow him because others want to see that Jesus is worth it. And if he's not worth it to you, then reject him. <laughs> but if he's worth it to you, then, then proclaim him and give him the glory for who he is. Because, yeah, he is worthy and you just have to choose whether he's worthy of your life. I want to play a short little video clip. It's a fun clip because it'll help us understand a little bit where we are in the picture instead of here. This is, this is where God has us, and what are we going to do with where God has us? Watch this clip. Here goes something, I guess. Okay, you can 
do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump. You got it. Whoa, my ski's slipping off. <laughs> Remember, never snow plow, okay? No snow plows. Just keep it straight, you'll be fine. Do okay. You do on the corner. Straight. Do you go faster on the in run? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Is it any steeper, do you think? Not same, much. Same steepness, it's just longer. Oh, just longer. Just longer. Just a bigger 20, that's all. Yep. Have it's fun. A bigger 20. I got it. Okay. Here. The longer you wait, you'll be more scared. I go. at the top with the first time freaks you yeah. out. That's the only thing, it's so fun! Huh? 60 seems like nothing now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And that's the part of where God has us. Will we step into a bigger jump with him? Will we be childlike like that and say, Okay, whatever Jesus you're calling me to do, I will, I will jump into it with you. And yeah, I mean, many of those that are older than you would love to tell you stories of why it's worth it. Ricky could tell you from Thailand, on and on people could tell you their stories of why Jesus is worth it, why it's worth taking another jump and seeing that, yeah, Jesus was there at the bottom when you landed and he has, 60's <laughs> nothing now. <laughs> There's more. And so we want to invite you to more. Um, here on campus, you heard some of the things that are available on campus and to the ends of the earth. Um, but start here. Make a difference here because there's some people on your campus that really don't think Jesus is worth it. And live a life that shows them that he is. And then take that from here to the ends of the earth. We want to invite you into some summer opportunities. You could see them up there. Um, join us for, for a summer action trip, six weeks. Ricky's got a basketball in Thailand this year. It's awesome. My son and daughter got to go on it three years ago. It was life-changing for, for my son especially. Um, we're offering a trip to Utah this summer for football players. We're wanting to do football camps in Utah Valley. It's one, less than 1% Christian, and we want to develop camps. They've invited us to come in. How could we share the good news of Jesus through football camps? And so, guys, I think God may be wanting some, I don't think maybe, I know he's wanting some of you to join him there. And so explore, say, God, what is it that you want for me? It may not be this, but he wants you to take steps with him. He wants you to go off another jump with him. And so, yeah, until the whole world knows, there's bigger jumps to take. And so we want to end with just a short video. Um, and just let it soak in, because somewhere between Tabor and the ends of the earth, God is calling you. Let's pray together. Yeah, Jesus, thank you that um, I don't even know how to say thank you for showing me that you're worth it and um, me to even question you in that. Lord, I do ask that um, as I go from here and as we go from here, that um, wherever you take, tell us to jump, whatever slope that is, that um, we would say, Jesus, you're worth it. You're worth it and you will be there when we land. And um, 
you are good. Yeah, thank you, Jesus, that following you is crazy and good. And we say we want to choose you. And so thank you for these young people. Thank you for what you're doing in their lives. Thank you for how you're shaping them to change the world. Lord, um, may they just continue to receive more of what you have for them, we pray. Amen.